Hello subscribers, welcome to Jamaican chapter, I am Nigel D. Salmon. Do you know where I am? Of course you know. <laughs> I am coming to you for the first time from Ocho Rios, Ocho Rios St. Anne. I've been to Ocho Rios before. I've been here before, but um, I never explore much. And I'm standing here at, I don't know where I'm standing. I just know I'm in Ocho Rios. So today in this video, in this chapter, I will be heading to the Ocho Rios Cemetery. So, without further, further ado, because of course, I reach here very late. It's now after 2 o'clock, going up to 3 o'clock. So, let me head to the location here in Ocho Rios. All right, so I am in close proximity to the Ocho Rios Cemetery here in Ocho Rios, St. Anne. It's a hectic day, very hectic day. All right, so let's get on with it. So many of you would have already know Jack Ruby and he was he was famous for the work he does he did he was a sound system operator and a record producer and as a record producer, he has produced many artists. He had produced many artists, including, you know, Mickey Simpson, the Hip Tones, the Gay Lads, Big Youth, and Burning Spear. Jack Ruby was also very active in his community. He was very active here in Ocho Rios. And I'm, sta I'm not standing in the place that he was most active, which is uh, James Avenue. But he was an active man and he was active in community sport, particularly football and youth development. Youth development, particularly in music. He, uh, he also appeared in the 1978 Jamaican film called Rockers. So many of you who had watched that film will remember, no, not film, film, will remember Jack Ruby role. It was not a big role that he played in that film. It was just, it was just, you know, he appeared in several scenes. Uh, but, um, you know, his presence in that film, and he appeared as himself, his presence in that film helped to boost it, I would say. Another interesting thing about Jack Ruby is that he is the grandfather of Sean Kingston. Uh, Sean Kingston, the artist, of course, who um, is um, probably most famous for his 2007 hit song, Beautiful Girl. You're so beautiful, girl. Na -na -na -ran -the -world. <laughs> Currently, his name is in the, um, the media on a negative note but we all know sean kingston 
He is Jack Ruby's grandson. I can say it's very hectic up here. Oh my God, getting getting here was like was stressful. And I got here a little late, I must tell you. <laughs> it's off, it's about after three o'clock right now. Yes, so you know, in the in the late nineteen eighties, and we're looking here at the um the Ocherius Primary School. You can see there, you know, people getting their children and things like that. Anyway, in the nineteen in the late nineteen eighties, Jack Ruby began getting ill. I did a video on his cause of death, so I wanted to check out that video. This video you are seeing on the screen, I will also leave a link. I will leave a link to that video where I talk about his career a little a lot more and the cause of his death. Of course, Jack Ruby died on Friday, April 7, 1989 at Kingston Public Hospital. His death was a big loss to the music industry. Big loss, of course, because Jack Ruby was not old. He was just 45 years old. He had a lot more that he could have done for um, reggae music. But with his loss, you know, people ensure that his name, his legacy lives on. He died without a will, and I think that also complicated many things, you know, such as albums that he had to be to release, and you know, who was who had the right to to um to release those albums, and the whole issue. So a lot of problems happened there because he died without a will, and that happened with Bob Marley and. Arita Franklin and some famous people, you make you wonder why. He was ill, he knew he was gonna die, why didn't he write a will? <laughs> but that's a whole different issue. But, uh, uh, so how is Jack Ruby remembered? All right, I talk about that later on. I'm standing now at the Ocho Rios Cemetery. Right over there, is the Ocherius Cemetery. It is right beside the Ocherius Primary School. So let's get over there now and let's visit the grave of this remarkable sound system operator and record producer and also father community man you know um somebody who many depended on to give them opportunities this is the ocheria cemetery um it's, it's overgrown with a lot of grass and you're wondering why have, have why is it not being cleaned up maybe I come at a time when you know they don't clean it up yet who knows but this is the Ocheria cemetery I, I even thought to myself, let me do a video on, on this cemetery, but I'm not going to bother. I can't take this grass. And secondly, it's getting really late right now. You can hear the sound of children from the primary school over there. Those are, they are the future, right? <laughs> so, Jack Ruby's funeral, it happened here in 1989 and 
many it, it was well attended with many people ca who came out to show their respect and there it is here is the resting place of jack ruby his formal name, birth name, of course, is Lawrence Lindo. Lawrence Lindo. And I spoke about how he 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 why how he, he got the name Jack Ruby and, and and what inspired it. So again, I wanted to check out that video. Uh, uh, a link to it is in the description of this video. You can see they design it in the form of a sound system. <laughs> yes, a sound system. And in the middle, right there, smack in the middle, you see the name Jack Ruby. When I was out at the road, his grave is the one that is most conspicuous because of those tall um, sound system boxes. I'm glad they do it like this. It's really, it's re it really represents the man to the core. Music was his life. Music was everything that he was about. And they did a really great job in representing what he lived for now as you go as i go in front of the grave here and i look towards the west i can see now on the front of the grave a picture of him this is a picture of jack ruby and it says in loving memory of the immortal Jack Ruby. All right, so let me go on top of it and I'm going to read the ep epitaph. What's written on here. And on his grave it says, In loving memory of a dear father, and grandfather L. B. Lindo. So L would stand for Lawrence B. I don't know what B stands for. I know his Lawrence Lindo. So B stands for his middle name, which I don't know. So it says, in loving memory of a dear father and grandfather. Lawrence Lindo Jock Ruby born March 14 1944 1944 and died April 7 1989 missed by children grandchildren, great-grandchildren, other family and friends. Praise God for the wonderful joy that, lie, that, that lives in our hearts every time we think of you. So you can see here his, his date of birth and his date of death. He was born on March 14, 1944, and died April 7, 1989. And of course, that's the picture of him there, Jack Ruby. So his grave, as I say, is the most conspicuous here at Ocho Rios Cemetery. 
he came to Ocho Rios, he made his mark, and he is buried here in Ocho Rios. The first major record producer to be um, in Ocho Rios. So after his death, how was he remembered? Or how is he remembered? Many things were done um, in, his, in his memory. Um, Jack Ruby used to have the Jack Ruby, uh, what do you call it? All right, he, he used to have, a, 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 what do you call it? The Jack Ruby lawn, I think it was. And after his death, it, it, it kind of um, dwindled. But in 1997, it was revived, the Jack Ruby lawn. Hope I'm saying it right standing here. Um, there, there is a mural, a, a colorful mural of him at the top of James Avenue here in Ocho Rios. I, wa I, I wanted to go visit it, but I say I came here very late. So there is a colorful mural of him on at the top of um, James Avenue here in Ocho Rios. Uh, there is the Jack Ruby Plaza and the Jack Ruby restaurants. So every time you talk about the Jack Ruby Plaza, the Jack Ruby restaurants, you bring back to memory this man. There is also the Jack Ruby Festival and other events to keep his memory alive. So after his death, all the way back in 1989, the name Jack Ruby the record producer here in Jamaica still stands. His grave is a little huge. It seems as if somebody else is also buried here, obviously, because here is this side, and then there is this. So it would appear that there's somebody buried there. I don't know. All right, so this is the grave, the tomb. I wouldn't even say grave and I wouldn't even say tomb. Let me say the monument to the man, Jack Ruby, here in Ocho Rios, St. Anne. Thanks, guys, for watching. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, to subscribe. Hit the notification bell um, to be notified when I upload another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another chapter.